Olive Wood Gardens and Learning Center in National City and welcome to my kitchen and happy day of play. In celebration of our now virtual events, I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite summer sauces. I like this sauce, which we're making, it's a pesto because it's easy to make, it's packed with nutrients, it's delicious and you can make it by yourself and you could also involve your friends or family. So pesto is an Italian green sauce, traditionally. We usually see it made with basil and pesto literally means to crush. So traditionally it's prepared in a mortar and pestle and it has basil, olive oil, pine nuts, garlic, and a hard Italian cheese like Parmigiano. But we're gonna mix it up and have a little fun with it by using some basil, but also some other greens to give it a little more different flavor and complexity. So we'll be using some Swiss chard in addition to the basil and also some um, Italian parsley. Instead of a hard Italian cheese, we're gonna use some nutritional yeast and some garlic and some toasted almonds instead of pine nuts, a little salt and pepper, olive oil, and also I'm going to add some lemon juice and some little chili peppers to bring out the flavor. So my ingredients today are about a cup of basil leaves and then another cup of greens. So instead of using just Swiss chard as it is, I blanched it because my friend Callie told me that she made a pesto where she had blanched the greens beforehand and then it turned out really nice. Because I'm using Swiss chard, it's a denser, uh, it's, a, it's a heavier green, I thought it might be interesting to try. And then we've got some parsley. So these will make up about a cup. Then I've got two diced um, cloves of garlic, which I diced beforehand because my blender's old and I'd like to give it a little bit of a rest. And then we're gonna use anywhere between a quarter cup and a half a cup of olive oil, depending on how, uh, how you need it. I find that with measuring these leaves, sometimes you pack them more densely, sometimes you pack them more loosely, and it can, it can affect the, how much oil that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna first put a quarter cup of olive oil in my blender, so this will help create make this all blend easier. And then I'm going to take some parsley and just tear off the leaves. This is a great job for young hands to do. It's easy, um, it can be cumbersome if you're trying to have a lot of things to do at the same time. In the kitchen, like if you're boiling water or grilling meat or preparing other um, and preparing other dishes, this is a really nice, fun way to get small hands involved. And it's fun for the little kid because it smells fun. And it's to do something and participate. And I'm gonna put in all of my basil leaves. So when you're doing basil, you want to just pinch off the leaves. Some of the small stem is okay, but you don't want any of this dense stem because it will make it bitter. These are, these are rather bitter. And the same with um, the parsley. You, because I'm not growing this, this actually, I got this at the store. You want to leave these dense stems for stock or compost. And I'm going to put in my bland Swiss chard and then my qu quarter cup of nutritional yeast. So I'm going to take some salt. That's about a half a teaspoon of salt and some cracked peppercorns. I tend not to use a lot of pepper, but this will be to taste. I would start off with maybe a half a teaspoon of salt and then bring it up from there. You could also use 
instead of fresh garlic, you could also use roasted garlic too. You could also use infused um, oils. And so I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil in here and I'm gonna blend it. So the parsley has a little bit of bitterness, and so I'm gonna use some lemon to counteract that. I'm also gonna use a little bit of chili. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. But I don't think it needs salt yet. mixing different greens is a great way to combat how difficult it can be to find a sufficient amount of basil to make this recipe. So I'm going to add a little bit more salt and I'm going to add a couple more leaves of basil. Usually when you go to the grocery store you can find them like in small plants or like tiny depending on the grocery store maybe tiny little boxes which isn't sufficient for a recipe that calls for two, two cups of leaves. You can go to Home Depot like I did and buy a plant to plant in your backyard, which is great to have and I highly recommend, or a small plant to keep on your kitchen, in your kitchen ledge. But it's also nice to know that you can use what is on hand. So if I didn't have, I didn't have um, the Swiss chard and the, and the parsley, I might use kale instead, or spinach instead, or carrot tops, or arugula. If I didn't have uh, if I didn't have almonds to use as a nut, I could use pecans. I could use sunflower seeds, and I could also use pretty much any nut or seed that I had on that I had around walnuts. I haven't tried it with peanuts. I've heard cashews were good. Um, pepitas, if you have cilantro, you could add a little bit of cilantro, maybe a little jalapeno. Too shabby. It's gonna be a good summer. Have a great time. I hope you enjoy making this recipe.